digital photos are so easy to share. It's no wonder we have hundreds or even thousands and thousands and thousands of them on our computers. But what can you do with the boxes of old photos you have lying around? We've got a lot of those. Mm -hmm. That's where yeah. the gadget guy comes in. He has a solution. You know, when's the last time you actually sat down and pulled out that photo album and looked at it, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. Probably been a while. I know yeah. I just dusted one of mine off last night when I was <laughs> looking at this uh -huh. going, wow, it's been a long time. Well, that's because our society is sat now so used to sharing photos online or just mm -hmm. perusing them on Facebook on our own time. But that doesn't mean physical photos need to sit on the shelf and collect dust. Consumer Reports recently tested photo scanners that can digitize them in a jiffy and give them some new life. Diane Bradsell has been taking pictures since grade school. She has thousands in albums, but she also has boxes and boxes of loose photos. She'd love to get them in her computer, but she says scanning is just not an option. It would probably take me 200 hours. Portable photo scanners promise to make the job quick and easy. Consumer Reports' Bernie Dietrich tested four, costing $80 to $100. You just pass a photo through the scanner, and either it gets saved onto a memory card, or you can connect the scanner to your computer and save the image there. All of the scanners Consumer Reports tested come with a plastic sheath, which helps protect older, fragile photos. And the best part, you can use these scanners anywhere, and they're fast. At the lowest resolution, testers scanned 100 photos in 15 minutes. But don't expect picture-perfect results. With the photo of this dog, for example, there's a white line that runs right through the image. And some of the scanners couldn't handle photos with darker backgrounds. For example, the scanner cut off the left side of this photo. In the end, the $80 Kodak P460 had the least problems with overcropping. It can scan up to a 4 by 6 inch photo and can also scan negatives and color slides. But to get a really good picture, Consumer Reports says you're better off with a regular scanner for the same price. You can scan at higher resolution and typically the quality is better. In fact, the $80 color scanner that Consumer Reports used for comparison and testing did a nice job on all the photos and it's the Epson Perfection V300 photo. Consider buying an all-in-one printer. These also do a great job scanning, but will also allow you to print photos in well. Consumer Reports recommends the Canon PIXMA MG6120 for this purpose. It costs about $140 and another plus. Mm -hmm. It's actually also a wireless printer as well, so you get a two-in-one for you. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. All right, you just need to now spend some time doing mm -hmm. all that That's scanning. That's right. It took yeah. time taking all those pictures. Yeah. If you want them to kind of get a little bit of new life, you got to sure. take a little bit of time, but right. it's definitely worth it. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, You're welcome. Guy. All right, we'll take a look at the morning commute just ahead.